This weekend, I want to talk to you about the blessing jar, a new idea that's been submitted to me by someone that uses our gratitude to God system. I want to tell you that we still have some of our gratitude calendars, and I made the decision to sell these at $8.99. Uh, and that includes free mailing, uh, because we still have some left. Ordinarily, we're sold out of these in October, but we had that appearance in Florida, and I had about 70 left over from that appearance, so I still have some left. It's real funny with these, and it's funny, it's human nature, but we sell out of these months ahead of time, when people can't use them. And yet, here it is, it's just less than the first week of the new year, and it is hard to give these away, because people think, well, I've missed the opportunity. You haven't missed anything. You have a whole year where you can now use this, versus having it ahead of time when you couldn't use it. <laughs> so, I invite you to use it. Let's talk about the blessing jar. Someone gave me the idea in January to start the year with an empty jar. And then each week, each week, add a note with a good thing that happened. And then on next New Year's Eve, empty the jar and read about the amazing year that you've had. Well, I loved that idea and I went to Walmart and I got a jar. Now, this is a big jar. I, I want a big jar. I don't want a little jar. I could have gotten a little jar very, very cheap for a couple bucks. But this jar, it cost about $13. But then I'm going to have everybody in the family put in one slip. And I bought these to have next to it. Also different colored slips for different people. And then every week we're going to put in a good thing that happened. Well, I'm finding it hard to just put in one a week. I, I just, I want this thing to be filled with multi-colors. We're already starting here at the bottom. We've got some that are in there already, amazing things that have happened already in this year. What incredible fun we're going to have next New Year's Eve. Instead of just watching Anderson Cooper and, and Kathy Griffin uh, in New York, we're going to be opening our jar, reading our slips of paper, thinking about the incredible big blessings that have happened in our lives. I often say this with the Gratitude to God calendar system, don't think you'll remember because you won't. You have to remember and recall the blessings. That's really what church is. I've often said that church is a remembrance society. You, you come there to recall what you already know. But when you do, life becomes so much better. I invite you to do this with my family. Get a gratitude jar. And maybe you've got the jar already in your house. Well, wash it and put it to good use. Have little slips of paper. And if no one else in the family will do it, you do it. You write down at least one incredible thing that happened to you for that week that defines your week. You don't want your life to be defined by your problems. You want your life to be defined by your blessings. It's all what you focus on. And when you focus on the blessings, I'll tell you, it's magnetic. More come to you. So start your blessing jar and make it a family tradition. And then next New Year's Eve, have the whole family gathered around. Open up the jar and start to read aloud and recall the incredible, incredible year that you've had. The blessings. You'll have at least 52. 
I pray you have more. I pray that as you begin to focus and write down the blessings, that more will come to you. Now remember, you can get your jar anywhere, at any place that they're sold, like Walmart, and your little slips of paper. Get them colored so that it adds color to the jar. And as it begins to fill up during the year, you begin to get excited about opening it, reading about your year of blessing. And I pray you have quite a year, the best year yet in your life.